In 1908, my great-grandmother, Lillian Gam, was born in Elizabethgrad, Russia, near the Inhol River. At just two years old, she left Elizabethgrad for the United States with her four-year-old sister, Esther, and their mother, Pasha. They likely took a ship from Odessa to Glasgow, Scotland. From Glasgow, Lillian and her family arrived at Ellis Island on April 19, 1910, on a ship named Furnessia. My relatives traveled in the fourth steerage located at the bottom of the ship for the poorest people, which was certainly crowded and uncomfortable for the long journey. Lillian and her family came to America for freedom from anti-Jewish attacks called pogroms in the Russia slash Ukraine area called the Pale of Settlements. Once they made it through customs at Ellis Island, they went to stay at 57 East 98th Street in Manhattan. Adjustment for the Gam family took time since they only spoke Yiddish. They spent some time in Manhattan, but quickly moved to live with relatives in New Haven, Connecticut, and then moved back to Manhattan once they felt a little more comfortable on their own in America. Lillian cared about her education and loved to learn. She even won several awards for her strong academics. Unfortunately, Lillian could not stay in school for long since her family struggled financially, forcing her to drop out, get a job, and bring home some extra money. Eventually, Lillian convinced her parents to go back to school, allowing her to graduate from Julia Richmond High School. Lillian's family moved to the Bronx, where she worked at a, as a bookkeeper because she was good at working with numbers. At 21, Lillian met her future husband at a Halloween party when he walked up to her and said, where have you been all my life? Five years later, they got married and raised their family in the Bronx. When Lillian got pregnant with her first child, her husband no longer wanted her to work. She told her boss that one day she'd be back. 30 years later, after her husband passed away, Lillian called her boss up, said she was coming back to work, and worked for another 20 years of her life. As an immigrant who came to this country with very little money and knowledge of American culture, Lillian and her family persevered. She worked hard and feared no one. If Lillian's parents never decided to migrate to America, Lillian would have had a very harsh life being a Jewish woman in Russia. Thankfully, America allowed her to pursue her dreams and though it was not perfect or an easy transition, the United States gave her a chance to live the way she wanted. Thank you.